Hi, uh, Loquis works so that you can only have one uh, task open at any given time. So that means that you can't have two tasks or three tasks open. And at the same time, it is possible to create rules that would activate several tasks seemingly at the same time. And the question is, how do you determine which task should be opened when two tasks should be open at the same time? And the answer is according to the order in the task list. Okay, let me explain it with some of the examples. Let's say that uh, you want to open a task for answering and then you would want to open another task for answering. Now, when you start this game, you would get first task first and second task second. However, if you order the rules like that, you would still get first task first and second task second because of the order they are here. Now the rules in themselves are not in the order. Okay? So this is maybe one of the most uh, simplest cases where you actually might have a situation where you do not get expected ordering. If you want to have sec second task first, then what you should do is that you should build a statement. And that is following. Sorry. So that statement here would open second task for answering and it would open first task only after second task is finished. Now the rules are determining the order so you do not need to follow really that order. Okay, But in case you do something like that then you would still get the situation where you get second task first, when second is answered, both of these should open, and because number one is higher up than number three, you would get number one first and number three second. Okay? Now, mo how does it appear really? Where is it um, kind of affecting? And, um, and usually what it, what it is about is this. You build a sequence. Let's build a three task sequence here. And the sequence tells you if one answered, please open second. If second answered, please open third. And when third answered, please open fourth. Okay, so that should be pretty clear. But now let's say that you also want to have a task number five open for answering when timer is, let's say, one minute. Okay, so what has happened now is that you have created a situation when you don't really know when task five should open. Okay, so let's say you answered task one. Uh, sorry, I win, I, we need one more rule, and we need the rule that first you need to open task one for answering. So you get task one, you answer it, you get task two because of the rule, rules, you answer it, but then you suddenly realize that one minute has passed. Now you would kind of expect that number five jumps open, but in fact what happens is this. Now number five is waiting for opening because number two is open at the moment, and when you answer number two, the number three should open. So you basically have a situation where number three and number five should be open at the same time. Okay, and let me remind you that the sequence of the, or the order of the rules do not really matter. So these are not time-bound rules at all. 
time is just an illusion in in uh, these cases. It's an outcome of the of the rule set that you create. So basically, what we are facing is that we are we have a second question that is triggering third question, and at the sa same time we have a timer that is triggering number five task. And in this case, you would get the choice between three and five and three activates. And if three activates and you answer the number three, then you will get four. And after you answer number four, only then you would get five. So if you want to inject something in between, you should actually do it with the first task. Okay? And, and let's, let's uh, see how that would uh, work then. So we say that you should open number two first. If number two has been answered, you open number three. If number three has been answered, you open number four. And when number four has been answered, you open number five. Okay. And let's say that now the situation is the same. You answer number two, you get number three. But then minute has passed. And now after answering number three, number four and number one both are going to be activated. Which one is going to be activated out of those? It's number one. So if you put the ones that you want to, in the tasks that you want to inject in the first places, they will kind of take uh, the uh, first place also when they are opening. Okay? Thanks. That's about it.